It's fun each fall to come walk through the farm's giant corn maze. They choose a different theme for each year. This time they chose the Winnie the Pooh theme, which was voted the best in the country by USA Today. This spectacular aerial view gives you an idea of the size and complexity of the maze. So I hear that congratulations are in order this year for your corn maze. Yes, thank you. We won first, best in the country. Uh, 20 mazes were selected to compete. And out of the 20, uh, by voters' choice, so the popular opinion, ours won first. So that was really exciting. For that us. is great. I love every year seeing what you do as your theme. And so congratulations on that. So tell us about this year's theme. So this year's theme, uh, we went with Winnie the Pooh. And the reason we chose that is it was challenging on several levels. Of course, like it's very popular design. And up until this year, Disney has had exclusive rights to it due to copyright laws. So at the beginning of this year, their copyright finally reached the public domain. So it, it released and anything from A.A. A. Milne's original Winnie the Pooh book could be used. So we thought that would be kind of fun since we knew a lot of people would be doing Winnie the Pooh stuff. Right. And he's a favorite children's book character. Of course. Uh, there were a lot of characters to draw from. So between all those challenges, that's why we went with the Winnie the Pooh this year which is really fun. Clearly it was a good choice. Yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people believe that too. So when you do the maze, tell us, like, how does, from conception kind of to it coming to life? So the general process for designing the maze for us, it's different for other people, right. is it starts in January and we all sit down and everybody brings their ideas to the table. So some people were like, maybe we should do Trumpet of the Swan or Winnie the Pooh. And once we've put them all out there and discuss them, we all get to vote as a, a leadership. So all the managers get to vote. So there's like six or seven of us. And then we take that idea. And uh, since I'm the designer, I take the idea that they've given me and I go out and start doing the research on what sort of designs I can make. So once I have all that, I actually start, start doing sketches by hand, and throwing out ideas. And it'll take me another week to finish up all the designs and adding in the trails. And then we go ahead and take that design and we go to a local surveying company and we actually have them put in their CAD program and do a survey grid based on our farm field. So it makes it all very easy. We used to have to do a lot of guesswork with how okay. we were gonna fit it in. And after we have that, we actually go ahead and survey the same grid out onto our field and do it in string. So we'll end up with these big 50 foot string grids on the, on the field, and after that we use uh, the old technique like they used to do for billboards. And we actually go out and paint the design right on the field inside that grid. At this point we've already planted the corn, so we get the corn about this tall, and then we go out and drag all the corn in all the places we don't want it to make the end design. Wow. Well, and then the corn is finally tall enough for a maize and ready. Yes, that's Late usually September-ish or so. Actually, it's uh, this is pretty fast-growing corn, so we can have the maize open usually around the late July. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, so we have it open for August. Definitely, it really depends on the growing season, but right. sometime in July is normal. So, tell us about the corn that you're using, because this is not eating corn. No, it's not eating corn. So, what we plant because we're not planning on eating it because it's up so long is we plant a variety of what would normally be uh, cow feed corn. Okay and uh, it's just hardier and it grows really tall and you can plant it really close together. So it just really works well for the maize. And then of course we don't have to worry about wasting good eating corn either. Right. So it works well for us. And you can see it gets to be anywhere from like eight to we've had years where it's been about 11 feet tall. Wow. Yeah, so it grows pretty big. That's great. People are clearly enjoying it. So congratulations again on your win. Thank you. It's been a, it's been a great thing for us this year. Very exciting.